I want to start out today's video by asking you to comment below if you are one of the millions of agents around the world who feel like their business is stalling. Okay, if you feel like you're putting in maximum effort and doing everything you possibly can, but your business has plateaued, you've reached this point where you just don't feel like you can get to the next level. It just feels like so far away, like you just can't climb that next mountain and get where you actually want to be and super frustrated. I know that this is a very frustrating time in your business and I'm here to tell you that it is completely normal. Every single top producer has been through that exact same stage. It's a normal part of the process. So I don't want you to feel alone. I have been there, everyone has been there, okay? And it's a very good sign because that means you're trying to get to the next level, okay? Most agents, don't even try to get to the next level. They get to a place where they feel comfortable in their business and in their life. Maybe it's 100,000 a year, 150,000 a year, and they just get comfortable. They just rest on that. They don't even try to get to the next level. You know why? Because they, they hit that ceiling and they feel a little bit of resistance and they know how hard it's gonna actually be to cross that next barrier to get to the next level and they decide, you know what? I'm just gonna quit right here. 150,000 is good for me. Me, I'm just gonna ride this out for the rest of my life and you know what happens when they get older when they get to the retirement age when they get to where their kids are older they're gonna look back and they're gonna regret so much that they didn't give more that they didn't put more effort in during those prime years of their life of their career Look, this is your time. This is the moment that you put in maximum effort to secure the life that you want, the life that you dream of, the life that you've been wishing that you've had, the life that you've, that you've set goals to be. This is the moment, this is the time, 2020, mark my words, is that year where you could literally leapfrog the competition. I've talked to a lot of agents lately who literally laid down during the pandemic. They started waking up later in the morning. Okay, they started, you know, getting out of their routines and not doing the things that they know they need to do. Why? Because they feel like everyone else is doing the same thing. Okay, listen, don't do what everyone else does. If you want to get ahead of everyone, you can't do the same thing that everyone else is doing always go against the grain. If you feel like everybody's being lazy, you need to put forth more effort. If people are putting forth more effort, you need to put forth even further effort. So comment below if you're one of those millions of agents who feel like their, their business has plateaued out, right? You're putting forth so much work, but you're not getting to the next level. And that's what I wanna to talk to you today about, and that's what this video is gonna be about, how I literally am selling 100 properties a year, making a million dollars a year as a single agent with zero cold calls. Also, I wanna share another incredible video I did with you about a year ago. It's called Close More Business Now. Okay, how to get now business. If you need a deal right this second, I want you to go watch that video. I'm gonna post a link in the description and you're really gonna find out what the philosophies are behind how to get a deal right this second. And if you haven't started the 28 day real estate challenge where you get a video texted to you every day at seven o'clock in the morning in the US with your challenge for the day, you need to go and get that initiated because we start it every Sunday. Every Sunday we start the 28 day challenge and you can start it right now by texting the number in the description. Or you can go to zero2diamond.com backslash 28 days. This is an intense 28 days that will change the course of your business just like it has thousands of other agents. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I was making cold calls live on my second YouTube channel uh, probably about four weeks ago. Okay, I was calling expired listings right here in my market and I'll put a link in the description for that video if you want to go watch me call expires live. But during that call session, I made a comment because somebody asked me why I wasn't using a dialer during that, during that session. And my comment was is that I'm just gonna hand dial because chances are within an hour, I'm only gonna get about, I think I talked to maybe four people, I dialed like six or seven numbers, 
you know, when I get on the phone with someone, I'm talking to them, okay? It's not gonna be a really quick conversation. I'm trying to find out what's going on, you know, the status of the property, what their plans are, what they're trying to do in the future, why they're trying to sell this property, and what I could do to help them. So I collect all the information. It's not a short conversation, and I knew that I wasn't going to talk to a handful of people. There was no need of me really using a dialer for that session, okay? But my comment that I made was that, guys, look, you know, I haven't made a cold call in years, all right? And that's why I'm not using the dialer. I'm just making calls for you, okay? I just make calls now on these live call sessions just to demonstrate to you guys how to make cold calls. And I don't really know any other coach that's even doing that, making live cold calls. There may be a couple out there, I haven't seen them, but I'm out there actually making the cold calls for you live, even when I don't have to anymore, just to try to help you through whatever your you know, fears are behind making cold calls. There's nothing to be afraid of. You, you should look at cold calls like it's one of the, the greatest, you know, most fun things you can possibly do. You need to have fun with it. Okay, when you stop thinking about the negative and people rejecting you and hanging up on you and all that stuff, asking questions you don't know, so on and so forth, making you feel dumb, whatever, if you can flip that into what it really is, because that's not reality. Reality is, is that people want to hear from you, they need your help, they want to talk to you, they want to do business with you, you just have to put the work in to call them, contact them, initiate those conversations, and treat them like family. And they're going to do business with you now or later. But back to what I was talking about, I made the comment that I don't make calls anymore. And someone commented after the video went live, you can go and look at the comment, uh, the gentleman said something like, okay Ricky, you know, you need to keep it real. Um, you know, don't say stuff like that. Um, he said something to the effect that, you know, I even say that you have to keep pushing, you have to keep building, um, you have to keep calling. And yes, that is very true, okay? This is what I say about income and goals, all right? You have to continue to build your database through going after new business, which is to me, circle prospecting and expireds. That's really, to me, that's the very best, highest quality business that you can possibly go after. These people are already on the types of property you wanna sell, and their contact information is extremely cheap, Okay, it's the cheapest, highest quality lead you can possibly, there's nothing better. A Facebook lead is not better, a Zillow lead is not better, none of that is better. Okay, if you want to sit around on social media and DM people and you know, get to know people, that's great. Okay, that's the next best thing past cold calling, but that's not even as good because on social media you don't really know what properties they own, you don't know what's, what's really going on there. With this, you know exactly what property they own and you have their contact information, their phone number, you can call and actually talk to them right then and there, see what it is that you can help them with, how they're doing, how they're enjoying the day, right? My entire phone script, it's set up to give a FE effect, friend, family effect, you have to give FE. Think FE every time you're talking to someone. When you're talking to your mom, dad, brother, cousin, okay, next time you're talking to somebody in your close immediate family or best friends, I want you to take a mental snapshot of that moment in time when you're talking to them, and I want you to start to emulate that exact same feeling with your prospects, strangers you've never talked to. I want you to have the same demeanor. I want you to have the same tone, speed of voice, the whole nine yards, right? I want you to be calm, cool, collected, and comfortable. Our job on the phone is to make people feel comfortable with us, and the way we do that is by being comfortable with them in those situations. So the more calls you make, the more comfortable you're gonna be. Every single call you make, you're getting just a little better, a little better, a little better, a little better. You don't notice it every call, but you are getting a little better because you're slowly, slightly, getting a little more comfortable every single call you make. So keep making calls because it's gonna add up to the point where you feel extremely comfortable, right? You're able to call anyone and exude that comfortability and it makes them feel comfortable with you and it, and it literally draws them to you and they want to do business with you. But the reason I wanted to bring up this comment that I made on the video and the comment in response that the gentleman left on the video after the live 
was that I wanted to clarify what I mean here with that I don't make any more cold calls and I haven't made cold calls in about four years. Okay, as you're building your business, you have to go after new clients and maintain relationships with past, past clients. That's how you exponentially grow. Most agents only do one or the other. Okay, they only do one or the other. They either only work on their sphere and their past clients and really maintain those relationships really well. And what happens? Their income plateaus. So they work real hard up to 100,000, which may, may take a year or two. And you know, they're calling new people and then all of a sudden they get to 100,000 they stop calling after new business and they just focus on their sphere, their income plateaus. Okay, some people go further. They keep calling new people, new people, new people till their sphere gets to a point where they're making 250 a year. Then they stop going after new business and they just concentrate on their sphere. What happens? They plateau at 250 a year, 250 a year, 250 a year. Okay, so on and so forth. I continue to build my sphere up to a million a year. I continue calling new business and working on my business until I got to a million a year. And then what happens? I quit going after new business and what happened? My business plateaued off and for the last four years, 2020 will be the fourth year, a million a year, a million a year, a million a year, a million a year. Okay, so a million a year is where I wanted to be. So once I got my business up to a million a year, I was able to take my foot off the gas of the new business and just concentrate on focusing on my sphere and my past clients and my entire database to maintain that million dollars a year while I'm able to, at that point, my time opens up because I'm not spending time going after new business. I can maintain this with very little effort, keep the momentum going in my business to make that million a year, and now I can go spend time building other businesses. Okay, I went and built a second business, seven figure business. I'm working on a third business now, seven figure business in the making. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm still on the phone all day long, okay? All my prospecting efforts in terms of my real estate business has now converted from new business to following up with clients because all I do for my real estate business is a weekly email. The weekly email every Wednesday since 2007 has literally put me in a position where I can continue to sell 100 properties a year, 100 properties a year with very little effort. I don't do social media in my real estate business. I don't do cold calling, door knocking, mailers, networking events, open houses, absolutely none of that. All I do is the weekly email and that keeps me in front of all my huge fear, okay, which that database is at 12,000 right now. Okay, over the course of my career, I made 100,000 cold calls. I picked up about 5,000 emails from that. And then from there, it kind of organically grew. There was a bunch of different buyers, referrals. See, my database continues to grow through the referrals and the referrals and referrals, and all those people are new people, really. They're, they're referrals that never knew me, they refer, they come to me, and now that's basically a new person that's never been introduced to me. Now they're part of my sphere. I put them in my weekly email, and my weekly email, then my database continues to grow. So it's growing organically still, even though I'm not going after new business all the time, okay? This is where I want your business to be. Everything that I do is focused around trying to help you get where I am, where I have this automatic business, whereas I do a weekly email and I'm able to sell the amount of property I want to sell with very little effort. I want to help you get there within the next five years instead of the 15 years it took me. Why? Because I had to learn all this on my own. Okay, but I didn't have someone like myself teaching you and giving you every single little strategy for absolutely free just to try to help you get where I am. The bottom line is here that I'll do anything that I have to do to help you succeed. Reach out to me on Instagram, that's the best place to get me any questions, anything you want to connect with me on. Hey, look at me as a resource, as a business partner. Anything you guys want to collaborate with me on, feel free to reach out. Let's collab on it. Also, don't forget about that video I'm going to link, Now Business. Close more deals now, okay? Link in the description. Other than that, let me know if there's anything else in the world I can do for you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Let's go.